my little goofballs, if you haven't popped into Prehistoric Kingdom like I hadn't, um, you might notice that we've got kind of like a revamped UI. Seems like they've really cleaned up, and I forgot how much fun this terrain paint tool was. So check this out. We've got just this kind of like little open space here, not a whole lot going on. If you go into your terrain and your landscaping tool, like look at all the little options that you have to fill in space. Like, and see, you can even kind of do it. Um, they even change up the thickness of the foliage tool. So look at this coastal fern forest. Watch how, and of course you can adjust the size, watch how it fills this in in like 1.8 seconds. So, I mean, look how long, like, could you imagine how long that would have taken by hand? And don't get me wrong, like, I am a, you know, I am a by hand person. I love doing piece by piece, but when it comes to this stuff, if you had this type of option in Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, Think how much time it could save. Look if we go just a little bit taller. See, you have a little bit thicker. Kind of like not old, old hardwood, but you know, thicker, it's had time. And then you can go into the coastal redwood section and that's where you get the really, really thick trees, thick brush. I just, uh, you know, had not played around with this a ton, but I figured we could take a look at some of these options while we're in the T-Rex paddock here. Um, Lush Savannah. Let's kind of get in here and do some of these and just see what they look like. See, like people with plant, people would die in Planet Zoo for an option like that. Just that, you know, that, look at that quick foliage pop. Um, let's kind of go over here. We'll go around our little dead tree here. Um, dry savanna. Very, very, uh, very satisfying tool. Um, let's see. This is tropical rainforest. Um, go over here to this open spot. So this is the, this is the largest option on tropical rainforest. Very, very awesome. Yeah, like I said, I, uh, like I mentioned in the last video, I, I don't really, that's a cool little turn right there. I don't really play Prehistoric Kingdom much anymore. They're all, they're all down. They're all down for the count. Let's get this guy over here. He's not necessarily a, a rainforest guy, but we can kind of see him around this turn here. Oh, he doesn't want to be over here. <laughs> oh man, look at him in that dry savanna fern, or you know, like dry savanna brush. That looks cool. That is just a really, really believable, incredible tool. And they have a little cinematic mode if you want to go into it. Um, you can click on any of your animals and it um, like auto cinema captures it for you. Glitch out. That is just really, really cool. Let's look at a couple of the other ones. Um, where do we have a little spot? We got a little open spot right here. Um, let's see. So we did, whoops. Okay, we've got desert bushland. I love that animation, how they spin in too. Isn't that cool? Uh, let's see. Desert Oasis. Mm -hmm. 
very, very awesome. Desert shrubs. Thick, thick shrubs. That's cool. Who knows what would be lurking in that? Desert cacti. And of course, too, you know, you're looking at this on um, kind of like medium density. You you have a density tool as well. So see, you can kind of tone it down a little bit. It's totally kind of up to you. Um, okay, so we did desert. We've done uh, grassland. We have done tropical. Uh, we have not done wetland. So let's let kind of come over here to the water. Um, let's see, wetland reeds, of course, very popular choice, well, cattails, um, wetlands mangroves, very awesome on that, got your little mangrove trees, uh, let's see here, bayou, Kind of even a nice little compliment to the mangroves there. And you can see everything that you originally placed down stays. So you can absolutely mix and match here. Got our little... Hiding out in the mangroves over here. Love his white color. That was just an awesome, awesome addition to the game. Kind of blocking us a little bit over here, though. That's okay. We've almost filled up the little paddock here. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, so your mangroves. Oh, wetland forest. Oh, very, very cool. Little ferns. That looks awesome. Very cool. Almost looks like Arkish. <laughs> All right, moving on to... Scrubland, the Scrubland, Scrubland Forest, very, very thick, Scrubland Pampas, that'd be cool for like a resort area, like, you know, if you're, if you're designing like a, uh, you know, like a large hotel, that would, this would be, like, cool to have on the grounds, maybe surrounding the hotel. Uh, let's see. Temperate. Temperate forest. Let's see, look at all these different options. Uh, birch forest. Nice little tree cover there. Seasonal birch. Gorgeous colors on that. Seasonal temple forest. Oh yeah, that's insanely fun. Huge stick trees. Uh, bamboo grove. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Coastal. Okay, you've seen coastal. That's kind of what the whole T-Rex paddock is. So this is kind of like the little bit of undergrowth option. Ferns, of course. Fern forest. Coastal pines. Very, very fun. And, of course, what we showed at the beginning, your redwood forest. 
But look how quick I just made that whole forest. Um, and then last, I believe, is your, yeah, boreal. So let's look at the boreal forest. Do a little example of that over here. Really, really old growth pines. Very, very thick. Kind of gives me like, like United States Pacific Northwest vibes. Uh, boreal tundra. So not a bunch of tall growth here, but a wonderful looking plains type bush. Flower field. That's just absolutely incredibly fun. Uh, pine forest. Oh, that's cool. Very, very thin. Thick, but thin. <laughs> and dry prairie. I had, did not know that they added all this. Like I said, I hadn't, I hadn't been in here in a long while, but this is, uh, this is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. You have got to give props to the devs on this insanely fun terrain tool. Look at this. We just made like a whole entire <laughs> meadow and forest in like just a couple, literally a couple clicks. Is that not insanely fun? Kind of throw in some of those just to change up the texture a little bit. That is just, uh, that is too freaking cool. I don't even, have, have they added any? I haven't even looked at the the rocks yet? Have they done anything? Oh, and then of course, remember too, with uh, Prehistoric Kingdom, you have scaling. Rock, still not a, still not a huge fan of the rock textures. But I mean, come on, this is, this terrain tool alone. Almost negates that whole gripe. That's awesome. Put like a T-Rex over here and get us a thumbnail out of this whole little meadow. But yeah, guys, anyways, I just, um, I was in here playing around with it and noticed this and thought I would jump in and show you guys. So this is the terrain tool. And now that I, like I said, that I'm actually in here, I think it's one of the, probably the best in creative management sims. I'd go out on a limb to say. I uh, have just not seen a tool this cool. A tool this cool. And it just, um, everything fills in with itself so nice. That is just incredibly, incredibly fun. Hmm. 
Well, anyways, guys, yeah, I'll go ahead and let you go. Just wanted to see if you had caught this, if you had been uh, playing this any. And uh, let me know what you think down below. Always like to pop in every once in a while and see what see what prehistoric kingdoms up to. You never know what they've added over the months. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.